What is going on, people? Today is an interesting day. There's a there's a lot that's going to be going on with today's stream. I had a stress test. I really did. But I, I will open this stream up with talking about how to create wealth. Now, I'm going to give you some examples of creating wealth. You take your experience and you create a book about what you know how to do or a topic that you're really good on it. So you take that experience, you transmute it into words on a printed page or an ebook or an audio book. And then that packaged up information that is structurized, you sell it. That is creating wealth, is taking desperate parts, information, and assembling it in a package that you can sell. Another way that you can create wealth is to take these raw materials of this pen. This, these raw materials, this plastic, this ink, this metal, just unassembled, it's not worth much. But assembled, it becomes a pen. You can sell that. That creates wealth. This phone, right? You go ahead and you assemble that. You put this together. And then you put some technology into it. Then you link it to the iCloud system. You create a lot of wealth. This phone, it is, it cost me a G. It's an iPhone 7 Plus. It has, I think, 128 gigabytes. I'm not sure. Let me check just to be clear. What's, let's see, what is the, because uh, I got it hooked up. Let's just say 128 gigabytes of storage. This is a phenomenal transfer of leather glass, aluminum components, because unassembled, these components might be $30, maybe 40. Let's just go say a hundred bucks. So you assemble this stuff and you charge a thousand dollars. Once again, these gloves, raw material, not worth much. Put them in these gloves. I think I paid 12 bucks for these gloves. Headphones. Now, you, you'll see a pattern. Now, there's various forms of wealth creation. And, oh, this is a good one. Now, this is another form of wealth. They took these raw materials, uh, Logitech took these raw materials, and they created this camera. This is probably, this is the oldest one I have. This camera is about seven years old, and it has created hundreds of videos, hundreds. So to build wealth, you must produce and you must create. Now, there are many people who try to get around this because when the United States of America was the number one world's lender, number one world's exporter, importer, credit the United States produced more than anyone else in the world. Now, uh, a, a few fancy MBAs got into offshoring and shifting the cost around. And this is kind of why we're in this trouble now. Because many people have gotten away from the fundamentals of how wealth is created. You must produce something. You must provide value. You must create things that people want to buy and people are happy with. We've gotten so far away from that. And this is why you have so many people who are who look at the wrong way how to create wealth. That like uh, we will go to. Let me just check out my favorite whipping boy. Um, I'm trolling Bitcoin people because I think it's a bubble. I think that it is not following the fundamentals of producing wealth. Now, with that said, it's a bubble, but during the bubble, 
there's a lot of money that can be made. People are making billions of dollars off Bitcoin. Down up, they're making money. And then when I'm trolling these people, and understand, I know what I'm doing. I'm trolling. And I fully expect to get trolled back. To date, it was a very special event. Very, very special event. And I will talk about that in a minute. That the emotional investment that these people have made into something that only produces wealth for them. Or, you know, shorting the market and stuff like, as you know, I don't really deal with the market. I don't deal with a lot of things that I don't understand. And I also, and this may seem a little pie in the sky-ish, but I don't subscribe to things that do not adhere to the fundamentals of building wealth because I believe they to be harmful. And if I believe these things to be harmful, why would I participate in them? Uh, this notion of get money, don't care about anyone else as long as you get your money. Uh, smart money does this. You cannot continue to have a system that enriches just a few people and leaves a lot of the folks out in the cold. That is not sustainable. This is what we have here. And a lot of people have piled up on this Bitcoin. So uh, I'll tell you the little story. So I've been trolling. I, I've been bag lending, bag lending, bag lending. And I really triggered someone. And typically, you know, a long time ago when I was new to the Internet, people would get triggered and stuff. I would, like, go back and back and back. But now I sit back and I go, like, that boy is really triggered. Why? There is something that I said that pissed this person off to the NIF degree. And based upon where it was, it's about the charting. And I was just looking at this. You know, I don't go to people's Facebook pages and stuff to look because, you know, when you're trolling, it ain't that serious. It really isn't. But this dude went to my page, found out it was open. Went to the Secretary of State, looked up my... At first, he was like, you don't even have an LLC. Oh, well, it's only a year old. And this is where the stress test came in because, you know, I, I got a situation, right? We got a little situation. And it was great to see that someone was pissed at me go through my stuff. And he didn't find... He only found one. He didn't find anything else. And I was like... This is really working. And it's like, you're not rich. You don't have any money. You're just a troll. All right, I'm a troll. I'm an informed troll. I'm a troll. It's true. I'm a troll. And I just realized that how many people are so emotionally invested in this because they see it as their only way to make big money. That's it. They, you know, because I, I asked myself, why didn't I get sucked up into the Bitcoin thing? I never really got sucked into it. I was looking at it. I believe that it's going to be another coin that's going to be the Bitcoin. Um, and then I, I started to look at YouTube videos of other people who were seeing similar things that I was seeing. And each and every one of them has had financial success building a business, real estate, or something like that. Now, you had Grant Cardone. You had Ty Lopez, who got into the Bitcoin craze. I don't know what Grant's thing is. I know he did a few videos on it. But that's more of trend following because it's very trendly. I mean, all of these Bitcoin crypto channels, channels are blowing up. I mean, I've studied like 10 of them. They're literally getting... 30, 40, 50, 60,000 views per video, 100,000 views per video in the case of one guy. And this kind of goes into my theory of most people are poor. Because, you know, a lot of people challenge that when I say, hey, a lot of people can't come up 400 bucks in, a, in 30 days. A lot of people can't come up with a thousand bucks. You move the bar to 10 grand. Probably 70, 80, probably 80 percent of the country couldn't come up with 10 grand in 30 days. So this stress test is to show you, to illustrate that there's a lot of poor people out there. 
and they're becoming desperate because this this kind of cycles with the economy. Uh, one guy he said, like, you know, I made a fourth of a million dollars in eight months. Could probably true. I mean, crypto's been wild. But you think this is going to last? And see, this is one of the dangers of getting on speculative investments. Once you get that taste, and once you get used to that fast money, nothing else will compare. You be, it's like you will become addicted to that way of making money, and I speak from experience. When I got that first taste of real money in the storage auction business, and it wasn't like a lot of money. It was like 18 grand in a month. Man, I was like, what? This is like, you know, and my share was nine because I had a partner. This was four times as much money as I was used to making from a job. Because, see, that was like the, that real taste. And before that, I had a taste in the storage in the, in the furniture business. The first thirty thousand dollars a month. I can't go back to a regular job where I get paid every two weeks, unless the paycheck is like you know something like fifty grand. I can't do it because I had that taste, that that good. I was like, oh my god, when I align all this stuff together and I put it together in the right way. Oh, I can't go back to a regular job. That's why I haven't had one in 18 years. Because I'm irrevocably altered. Amazon, these people get on this Amazon kick. They get that first real taste of money. You can't get them off of it. Even when the Amazon penis has syphilis. Can't get them off of it. It's like, oh, we'll get us a penicillin, they'll be all right eBay can't get them off of it. Well, eBay and Amazon have done things to force people off of the, the penis. But what I see happening is so crazy because once you examine the information and one of the things is you have to look at who is putting out this information and what is their entitled interest? All these uh, magazines, they're writing about Bitcoin, and they break it down in 24-hour cycles. They break it down in 30-day cycles. Because when you really look at the chart over months, it's not good. But once again, I digress. The fundamentals of building wealth are you must create things. If you want to get wealthy in these United States of America for the long term, you need to create something. You need to build something. You need to be part of something. Uh, the other day when I was talking about watching these uh, ranchers and they were all concerned about the estate tax, they own this land. They produce beef. They produce corn. They, 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 they make they produce stuff. And as long as you're producing stuff that people want, you will make money. Now, part of this is millennially, the millennials are driving a lot of this Bitcoin stuff because it is a way for the individual to make a lot of money. And there are people making a lot of money, even right now with the Bitcoin meltdown, without really doing nothing, without producing anything without contributing to the greater good, without, you can make that money. And as I discussed yesterday, that is not good for the economy. But once again, we have, you know, I'm 51 years old, and I grew up in a world where your neighbor actually cared a little bit about you. And I'm not saying that, you know, they were going to, like, you know, empty out their wallet to pay your rent, but they, they kind of cared. And as a society, a lot of people cared about each other. Now we've gone into this individualistic, separate, me getting my money without really providing value. And it's insidious and it's crazy because um, 
when I went to the dude, the troll, I mean, he went hard. I mean, he went really, really hard. I went to his page and saw that he was poor. So whatever I said in my trolling offended his sensibilities because I think he's not even aware of it, how dependent, how emotionally invested he's into this thing that's going to be short term. Once uh, the regulators come into crypto and they're coming and once because the the Internal Revenue Service is not on it yet. I mean, I, I'll be honest, I'm taking chances. This is why I will never show any screenshots or anything about the stuff I sold because they're going to have to come for me. I'm playing that game and because I know that the uh, IRS is understaffed. I, they just going to have to come for me. That's it. I ain't even lying about it. They just go out to come for me. So I am not going to provide any visual evidence. <laughs> the thing is that people with money don't really flash it like people who have new money or sudden money because the consequences could be very dire. Very, very dire. So I look at this and I'm like, okay, what what can I speak to the audience? What can I speak to the group? What can I say to the people? Dollar cost your cryptocurrency. You know, 5% of your income, 10% of your income. Throw it in the market. Do whatever you want to do. Because some of it's going to pan out. But do not think that you're going to become overnight rich with crypto. Because once you get that, that taste and you become addicted, you're going to start to make very bad decisions. Now, you know, I sold mine. That could, in the future, turn out to be a very bad position. Decision. It could be. I mean, Bitcoin could, like, reverse and go up to 100K, which is what they're saying it's going to do. And I would have lost out a lot of money. I can live with it. I made what I presume to be an educated decision. I sold. Did not buy any. I am not in the crypto market at all. Because there is too much emotion in the market. I think in a year or two when a lot of the emotion comes down and we'll get to the real values of it. And I'm perfectly fine. You know, um, I was going to buy Ripple. Something told me, to like, don't buy it. Because I would have bought it at a dollar. Probably still be safe because it hasn't lost too much. But it's still taking a beating. And then I, I looked at the emotional investment that these people have in this with little regard to the fact that it's not really doing much for their fellow man. It really isn't. And I see Korea. I see China. I see um, India. And I see the United States clamping down very hard on these cryptos unless they continue to crash and burn. They crash and burn. Mm, they're not going to do anything. But if they continue to scale the way they are, oh, yeah. United States, they have airplanes, tanks, guns, soldiers. They will win. <laughs> they will win. So the fundamental, fundamental thing is if you want to create long-term wealth, and I'm going to give you a good example, me. This channel was started in 2009, and five months after this channel was started, and started making money. Did not make a lot of money in the beginning. Like almost 600 bucks my first month. But I was thrilled. Because I had something that came from my brain. Into this book and people bought it. And I said if I can reprodu reproduce this thing over and over again. We own the sum homie. And that's what I've done. And I've been also been able to be my own man. Thanks to all of you who buy the products. Because I can say what I want. I don't have to bow down or capitulate or take a position that I don't want to take. You know, if all this disappeared tomorrow, I'd be hurt. But I wouldn't lose my house. I wouldn't lose my vehicles. Still got money in the bank. I'd just do something else. Creation of wealth gives you options. It gives you a lot of options. The more options you have, the better off you are. But when you are so wedded to this one way of making money, and I'm speaking to myself because the YouTube thing, it still works, but it doesn't work like it used to. 
uh, the Facebook group thing, it still works. It doesn't work like it used to. Do you know that at one point, Facebook was my number one source of traffic and income? My Facebook group. They changed all that. And YouTube's changed their things. And uh, the blog thing, That I, I tried that again. Did not work. Um, it's a very interesting thing. But if you stick to the fundamentals of building wealth, that I must create a product or service that benefits other people and give fair value for their money, you will continue to make money. You will be on the path of becoming rich. And then after you hit rich, you'll be on the path of becoming wealthy. It has been proven over and over and over. But mankind, being the monkey that he is, is continually trying to figure out a way to get a lot of something for little or nothing. And that's the thing. You've got people out here who in three years think they're Bitcoin cryptocurrency experts because I, I know what it was. It was the, the chart thing. Let's talk about statistics. And I want you guys to answer if you've noticed this. Whenever we talk about Bitcoin, they talk about market cap and percentages. They assiduously avoid talking about real dollar losses instead of, you know, like uh, crypto. Like yesterday, the crypto market lost a hundred billion dollars. So go back a few years, 2013, Bitcoin lost 30 million. So 30 million, a hundred billion, 30 million. You know, it hundred billion. It, it, it's like, what, how much money is that? My mind can't conceive that. That's a, so much money. Thirty million is a lot of money, but you can wrap your head around that. But when you talk about percentages, you know, forty-seven percent, fifty-seven percent doesn't sound that bad. That's statistical trickeration, because I've noticed all of these outlets because I read them every day. They sp speak in twenty-four hour cycles. I'm going to tell you, and if you've been listening to me, you need 90 days of data on virtually anything to begin to shape some good decisions. 90 days. Not 24 hours, not 30 days, not 60 days, but 90 days. And for a really good data set, you need a year. So my belief on this Bitcoin cryptocurrency thing, and once again, I believe it's manipulated. I believe that many uh, new investors are being played because I think the vast value of the cryptocurrencies are highly inflated. And as I put on my Facebook page the other day, those gains ain't loyal. You know, Louis Marco, the gains ain't loyal. They're not loyal. This thing has went up in November and it's already back where it was in November, December, two months, two months. Now I can have egg on my face and I can be talking like a year from now and Bitcoin is 100K and I'll be like, all right, I was wrong. I'm foolish. I don't think I'm going to have that conversation, though. I just don't. But how many of you were taught the fundamentals of wealth building? And one of the first rules of wealth building is never to lose money. First one, and one of the reasons that tax allocation and stuff is so important is taxes is one of the biggest drains on your check. So you're theoretically losing money. So if you can reduce the leakage of your money through taxation and the reduction of taxation through uh, setting up certain things, then you can begin to get wealthy. You cannot get wealthy through saving. You must create. You must increase your earnings. You're not going to get wealthy through saving. You're not going to get wealthy through low-level investing. It's not happening. You're going to have to have some substantial substantial elevation to make some money. Because um, somebody said something, and I meant to add it up. Um, wow. <laughs> that is wild. Um, just looking at the Bitcoin fluctuation. It is really jumping. I feel that the people who have vested interest in the long term viability or Bitcoin are buying like crazy to push the price up. We'll see if there's enough of them. Uh, 27 times 365. Wow, that is true. You know, if you save $27 a day, 
times seven times four times 365, it is $9,855. Now, what's important about that? I got to save 10 grand. That seems like a lot of money. I got to save 27 bucks a day. What can I do to make $27 a day? That doesn't really sound that difficult. I can do this. I can work an extra hour or two. I, there's a lot of ways that you can make 27 bucks a day. So if you save 27, let's move it up to 28 to get to the full 10 G's. You save 28 bucks a day. In one year, you'll have 10 grand. One year. So that's um, seven, that's about 150 bucks a week. Or more or less. More, more, more than that. So one of the things is you got to break this down to processes. Because if you want to be wealthy and you're like, I want to be a billionaire. That's just not going to work. I'm going to create a product or service that's going to serve a few million people. That works. See, the money is a byproduct of service. The money is not a direct, uh, you know, you just don't get it like that unless you're doing something illegal. Unless you're doing a Ponzi scheme. Yeah, those things work. But long term, the only way that you're going to get rich, then take the rich money to buy assets to become wealthy is through long term product development or you create some wild new thing like, you know, you create something and it's like four or five years old and this big company buys it and you have an exit and you're wealthy. You've got the money to create real wealth. That happens. It's not an everyday event. Most people this doesn't happen to. Some people and usually the people who've started businesses, who've put something out there, who've built something, who have created services or products that provide value for people. So if you want to get in that game and you want to have that ex early exit lottery, once again, you still must create something that provides value to people. But once again, human beings are going to try to jump around this. They're going to try because, you know, the, the pitch is super nice. Hey there. You know, I was just like you. I used to work, you know, 60 hours a week, not spend time with the family. But now I only work 10 hours a week and I'm on the beach every day living in my dream house. See this mansion behind me with the Lambo. That is seductive like a mofo. I'm like, I want some of that. Make a lot of money. Live in a nice house. Be on the beach daily. All my financial worries, where, where, where do I sign up? Where do I sign up? But if you're educated properly, you know that's a, a scam. You know that isn't going to work. You know there's more to the party. But if you're uneducated, which is nothing wrong with being uneducated. But if you're uneducated and you want to stay uneducated, you want to stay ignorant, because the truth is going to blow your bubble like Mr. Trigger this morning. It has been a long time since I've triggered someone like that. Because uh, one of the reasons I'm trolling is I don't want people to fall prey to the scheme. I mean, it's, it's just that simple. And I remember I was having an interview with someone and he tried to offer me some of his stuff. And I really wasn't really sure if that's something I wanted to introduce to you guys. And it was a lot, it would been a lot of money for me. Been a lot of money for me. But I didn't do it because I like helping people. I like creating products and services that change people's lives. That's like a high. That's like a greater reward than the money. But once again, with humans doing stupid human tricks, thinking they can make a lot of money for nothing. So when you're against that sentiment, and I understand when that sentiment comes, you're working a job you hate, you got this boss you can't stand, you're not making no money, totally get it. I was there. But when whatever inside of me broke that time, that my last job, well, next to like my 
next to the last, well, my third, something like this. Uh, had a few jobs after that, just a few, like three max. Whatever broke in me did not turn me into Scheme Incorporated. It didn't turn me into trying to trick people. It didn't turn me into a person that was trying to get over. There's a lot of people trying to get over out there. And they are very interesting because, once again, and I've had this conversation before with you guys, smart money does this. Not necessarily. I've looked at how people got wealthy. You know, there's only like a handful of people who get wealthy from the market. And typically, those people have already had extremely high incomes or they had legacy or they were inherited. Only a handful of people. How many folks in here in the chat know someone that started with absolutely nothing, invested in the market, and became a person worth millions? And let's go ahead and define it. Five or six million from nothing but investing in the market with a regular income. No, that's said regular income because that's what... 57%, well, 60% of the people, no, 75% of the com- people in this country have a regular income. Please put that in the comments. Did someone you know that became a multi millionaire, not the quote paper millionaire, not the house, not the insurance, a millionaire on paper? I think that is so disingenuous. It's like because the guy on core broke it down with my income, with my house, with my 401k and my insurance policy. I am. Theoretically, a millionaire. No, you're not. You're a high-paid individual with some assets. You could become a millionaire, but no, you're not. And that's one of the things. All right, so let's get in the chat room because <laughs> I feel some kind of way this morning because I'm just sitting there like, this is crazy. But the trolling will continue. It has to. The trolling has to continue. All right. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. What's good morning, Johnny Walker, Kindle Vision, Stefan, Big V, Charlene McKinney, CZ, Diana Thompson, Zola, AKW Beats, what's up? Randall Riley, Akuna, Lance Brown, Gwendolyn Hill, Al Gordon, what's up? I'm just going to say Oliver, man. I don't know how to get your, <laughs> your first name. What's up, Daphne Jackson? Sarana, Carol Carlton, Tani, L- Tini, Tanya Lewis? Sure thing. Chris Monroe, good morning. I'm almost ready to buy some of this discounted Bitcoin. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, Chris Monroe. I, I'm going to sell you. I think it's going to crypt down to... Um, Probably 6,000, maybe five. Let's see. Let's see where it is now. Because they are. All right. So that should focus. Well, I can't see if it'll focus. So it is 8,400. This morning it was at. Let me let me pull it up. Because it's getting real close. Uh, I might jump back in when it gets to three grand. Maybe. Uh, Because this morning, it was uh, at that. Hold on. Yeah. That's what it was this morning. And over the weekend, we could see even more slippage. Because I feel it's going to be like 6K by May. (laughs) Could be wrong. Could be wrong. What's up, Archangel? Nathan Judson, Tasha, Tanker Green, Agent J. Poole, AKW Beats, putting together random sounds and creating music. I mean, you know Lionel Richie is like one of the wealthiest people in the world? I'm serious. Archangel, Bitcoin is following the trend of penny stock pumping up. The majority of shareholders are liquidating their position. So, the damn dude, you nail it. It's down to the eights. The coin is at the moment. What's up, Jerry? Jonathan Phillips. Yo, I made money with crypto. Glenn, hedge my bets. She's laying off on Bash of Crypto. Are we going to go surge night on you? <laughs> Someone already did, man. Someone already went surge night. It was funny. 
BC Angel Hands, what's up? Archangel, oh man, that's it's a pucker moment. It's art, it's a serious pucker moment. Uh, regardless, I know I hedge my bets. Regardless, he says someone paid him seven years ago. All right, once again, the time, uh, the time to really get into Bitcoin was 2009, 2010, 2011. What's up, DC Dave? Or Dave DC. Mama needs her wine. What's up? Oh, okay. Grant Cardone says, leave it alone and build a business. Make the sales calls. All right. Because I knew he did some videos on it, but I didn't know what he was talking about because I didn't watch him. Tanya J. Rustin, Chris Monroe. Oh, yeah. We're going to get into a lot of stuff. Fast money is high. Really, it is. Harlem World facts, no joke, is serious like an addiction. It does become like that. I was a I was a storage auction crackhead. I know what the feeling like. I know the the rush and the thrill of the door going up. And that's you just you smell that. You smell that. You smell the money. Shelly Jones, if you're from January 2017, crypto was a thousand, take 80% off the table and let 20% ride. It sounds sensible. What's up, Lamote? I mean, serious. The Amazon pain is it's some it's some good D, man. It's some good D. Just all up in that hind brain. Oh, oh, take it, man. Take it, girl. Take it, man. Take it. Jonathan Phillips it's about using the same low folder reach used to create a business. If you could boost your sales to help gain leverage, a way to get credibility is to parlay cash into operating franchise. There's a lot of things you could do. Charlene McKinney, I'm telling you. Robert Braun, they can work as a side gain and not your main gig. Chris Monroe makes people selfish. That's what I'm talking about. What's up, Al Gordon? Uh, John Favillis, creation and protection of intellectual property and go create shell companies and trust funds to go to Nevada, no state tax or farm lo farmland and loophole. Jonathan, man, you've been around here a minute. Short change, aggressive saver, but makes peanuts. I mean, seriously, I am not, uh, I'm just saying, Chris, I'm just saying. Jonathan, business development. Dana ripples close to rupees, stop it. Akuna never invests more than you can afford to lose. See, that, that a lot of people are not following that. A lot of people are not following that at all. Shelly Jones, I, I, I've said that before, and that's what people did. I think the person who came for me this morning uh, did something stupid like that, and um, I was destroying that cozy reality that it's going to go back up. It's going to go back up. Geraldson, want more money? Pick up the phone. Cold calls. Jiro Maverick, 124. I went to the perimeter site you showed yesterday. I agree that most people are poor with my main job and side gig. I make around 70K a year. And that puts me in the top 10% of millennials. It's crazy. Yeah, most folks don't have money. That's why people are all in on this thing. <laughs> Ripples down 80%. Uh, Nate and Justin, healthcare is fixing to get cheap. Uh, competition, that could happen. But I'm going to tell you something that happens with healthcare that gets cheap. It's going to get shoddy. You know, what's going to happen is there's always going to be a wealthy tier, a first class of health insurance. I mean, if, and health services. Shelly Jones, the root word in cryptocurrency is crip. <laughs> wow. Chris Monroe, that's why I have 14 streams of income. You go, boy. Jill, I think the recession after next will be the recession of blue-collar labor workers. If you're an entrepreneur or programmer or in medical in some way, it's going to be very hard. I think we're really getting close to that. What's up, Savelta? Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about, Hero. What's up, Chris Monroe? 
No one ever taught you that. And Natalie, what's up? Sure, Mr. Safety Forever. What's up, Yolanda? Lamo Nut. I learned from Rich Dad Poor Dad. I'm learning from you. What's up, 31 Graphics? Derek Brown. Yeah, I mean, it, it's real. Just break it down into actionable chunks. What's up, Mr. Black Culture? In my current financial saving the situation, the savings are very different. I would rather sell 10 sandwiches a day at $8 a sandwich than put $25 a day in savings from that. You got to make more money. Irvin Thomas, do you think automation, AK robots? Yes, I, I think very much so. Now, short change, that, that is a killer move. I act like I still have a car note and save that money. Harlem World King, they just don't have the morality. <laughs> Uh, I know of one that succeeded in that manner. Okay, Mr. Safety Forever. How many people do you know that tried? And did he have, like, a regular income? What was his income? Al Gordon, I don't know anyone. He lost his job gambling. <laughs> Irvin Thomas, zero. Be real, not trolling. What's up, Quentin? Uh, no, it's dropped 60%. The Trump and bump. That's funny. Uh, I think it'll be six G's by May. Because uh, the thing is, the, the folks who are making money from Bitcoin, they're going to buy back in to push the price up because they cannot have it crash that quickly. If it crashes that quickly, if Bitcoin goes to like five or four G's like next week, it's over. So I don't think they're going to let that happen. Um. Uh, I heard about Ronald Lewis. He owns real estate at Rodeo Drive. He picked up cheap in either the 70s or 80s. Last time I checked on Lionel, uh, I am just. Okay. That is funny. Uh, last time I checked on Lionel Richie's wealth. Let's do it together. He was like at 200 million. This was a few years ago. 200. Be created in media, creating a podcast, creating a YouTube channel, because the new rules of YouTube have helped me because I've seen my AdSense go up. It's just going to get, you know, essentially the Internet was like wide, wide, wide open. Now there's gatekeepers popping up all over the place. So that's why if you want to do some Internet stuff, you need to get into it today. You don't need to wait because I keep saying this, and I said this 2013, the Internet wasn't crowded. People thought I was crazy. It's 2017. Now the Internet is starting to get crowded. Now you really got to fight for attention. Now you got to do crazy stuff like live stream twice a day. <laughs> the Internet is it, it's crazy. Crazy. 
DJ Slinks find the winning product to sell on eBay feels like some new. I mean, seriously, it's just it's crazy. Uh, Chris Monroe, what do you think about selling private label products on Amazon, eBay, and websites? All right, Chris Monroe, reframe your language. What do I think about selling a product that you created and branded? If you created and branded and you go ahead and lock it down with copyright and trademark, Amazon got to come to you. So I think that's the best thing ever. Ever, man. Ever. Shotgunning, one of the leaders takes time, man. I'm using this year to build my credit and eliminate debt. Next three years, three to four more years, move toward my goals. Short change. Hustle porn don't impress me. Most of those guys lonely <laughs> up front. Big V, what's up? Good morning, Wild Jones Report. Target Shark Studios. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, I knew McDonald's was automated. I knew that when they were talking about $15, I was like, here we go. Those robots, those attendants are going to pop up, and they did. What's up, Leslie? Nathan Justin, robots are coming, but robots don't pay taxes. Uh, what's going to happen is they're going to have to change the tax code again. I mean, you know, for a few years, it's set where the wealthy will be paying most of the taxes. Hey, Wellis, good morning. We're addicted to your content. All right. Michael Dennis, good morning. Actually, the mic did not cut off on the screen. Uh, no, it wasn't the battery on the mic. It was it was user error. So you definitely got to pay yourself. Let's see. Let's go to Merv Griffin. Just go back over that. Merv Griffin. That's wild. Okay. I mean, this dude started from nothing. But the thing is, he built institutes and things that outlived him. His money is still making money. Uh, let's see. Sale of asset. He sold his company. <clears throat> he sold his company for $250 million in 1986. Uh, sold something else, 1980, for 100. So $375 million. Do you understand how much money that was in the 80s? That was like a billion dollars. But he built something. He created something. Uh, we have a lot of people who don't want to create anything. They just want to get money. And that's fundamentally flawed. Really, Shelly Jones? I didn't know that. Oh, self-driving trucks are coming. They're definitely coming. Now, this is one of the things that you can do to create wealth. Figure out something that you're good at. You're not necessarily an expert. You're just good at it. You like to do it. And really push on it. I was one of the first people I... I think I was the first period person to have a warehouse in the storage auction business here in Atlanta. I was one. Of, I know I was one of the first people to sell on Craigslist. I know I was one of the first people to sell on eBay. I was the first person to put all that together and, and con, you know, congruently be selling on Craigslist, be selling on eBay, have a large warehouse, have a showroom. I was the first one to do that in the storage auction business because people like, well, because essentially, this is why you got to hang around smart people. This is why you got to hang around people who will push you. Because I treat the storage auction business like a business. And I constantly pushed on it. Sometimes my partner and I got into it because I was pushing, 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 pushing. Because if you ain't growing, baby, you dying. There is no such place as get right here and just stay here. Business does not work like that. That is very hard to do. If you can pull that off, my hat's, oh, my hat's off to you.
Uh, I was at a factory where a guy was taking a product from a robot and handing it to another robot. Automation is here to stay. Merv is a serious producer. He made talk and game shows. Yes, he did. Yep. And Jeopardy, Will of Fort, they still exist. They still make money. Vanna's still turning those letters. When you create something. Um, thir uh, 313 Graphics, that's a lot of people who think that's real. Derek Brown, murder fact, he outbid Donald Trump on a large-scale hotel. I did not know that. You got to be kidding me, Rona. That, that's, just, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. But essentially, if you want to make some money, you got to create something. And this is an opportunity that's available to anybody here in these United States. Like if you're in Africa, that's a challenge. Uh, Europe is kind of a challenge, but not as much as in Africa and Egypt because and there's many places in the world. You just can't up and start a business. No, 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 no. Not you. You can't do that. No, 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 no. Nope. Mm -mm. And that's why, you know, when I look at people talk about make America great, America's already great. Make America greater, greater than it is, because to have the ability, like, I'm here, you know, in this little studio, I'm talking to you guys. I've been talking to you guys for nine years. And this has been my soul, well, one of my income streams. I mean, you got to really look at that. That I can come here on YouTube, share information, sell products for years. I have a fish. I'm about uh, getting close to where I've been doing YouTube longer than I did storage auctions. Producer versus consumer mindset. You've seen those old videos. What's up, Gerald Mosley? I mean, you, you have so many people because, once again, I understand what it's like to be poor. I understand what it's like to not have money. But I said this yesterday. I'm going to say it again. You think the governments of the world are going to allow the populace to become millionaires en masse? It ain't happening because this is what happens. Once you get to options... Once you are able to live your life the way that you want to, you just ain't going to put up with a lot of stuff. You're not going to put up with the regular things. You, you're just going to be very hard to control. And having a few people like that, there's always been people like that. There'll always be people like that. The government's fine. It's like, you know what? Child support. I had someone come for me on the child support thing. She deleted her comment because I was going to light her up. You teaching men to avoid to be deadbeat dads? Apparently, she went to the rest of the video and saw the whole story and deleted her comments. But she came for me. She was like coming hard. No women should support this channel. They should, they should, you should be ashamed of yourself, big black man. And that is a wealth transfer. In many cases, it's just a wealth transfer. That's it. It ain't about supporting kids. And that's something I refuse to participate in because I'm quite sure um, someone is still working on that. Waldorf is still family on. I play Wheel of Fortune on my tablet, Charlene McKinney. You got to get like those folks, Al. Um, I would recommend stored auctions that you actually attend and they raise the door and cut the lock in front of you. I would not recommend online auctions. Chris Monroe, I've been with you for at least eight years. That's a long time. Thank you. Uh, Diana Thompson, if it was not great, immigration would not happen. Truth. Hey, Willis, I live in Argentina and would travel to U.S. three months a year just to make money. Wow, that's deep. Oh, man, uh, I, I've been through it. And also, you know, with um, 
because I'm quite sure this lighting me up on Facebook. I'll still control. I'll continue to troll because one of the things that I know, and I think when I said, you know, look, I ain't on this Bitcoin thing because I know how to make money the traditional way. I think that also triggered them because if you look at the people who are making money, they ain't really jumping on this Bitcoin thing. And part of that is if you're making money, why would you foolishly put a lot of money at risk into something that's unproven? I can understand 5% of whatever you make. You know, that 5%, you lose that. You still got your 95%. But people have been jumping in this thing to the, they're underwater. They're like, bloop, 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 bloop. They're underwater on this thing. So... Uh, Stefan Arza, would you fight for custody of your child? No. And this is why. Once again, I didn't realize I fought for three years. Well, I did fight, but she moved out of state, couldn't get her served. So due to law, since she's been with her, her name's Madison, for this long, they're not going to remove her. They're just not. But if I were to go fight for custody, I would get the grand... Um, present of seeing her once or twice a year and paying child support 12 months out of the year tell me would you do that once again i went for this for three years i wasn't one of those guys who got custom now if she had stayed in georgia or if the judge had did her job because the judge just let it go she's like i was like you're not gonna ask for proof that she still lives here she has a job she has an apartment here she still has that here they were like nope she lied didn't didn't mind so uh no because I will be fighting to visit someone for two years. And to give you further context, to be a father, your provider, your protector, that takes physical presence. You know, that's not something I can do. I would essentially just be a visitor to my child. No, uh, I don't want that. 31 graphics, that's exactly why everyone's hating LeVar Ball. He can't be controlled. Hot song beats. My only regret is not watching this channel sooner. My mindset has shifted dramatically in the past couple of months. That's a good thing. If you want to see real wealth, look up Carlos Slim. I think at one point he was the richest man in the world. What's up, Lauren? Like a stung movie, a con, con knows a con PC. So, you know, it, it's just real interesting because uh, part of the thing about being a creator and creating your own economy is you get to be who you want to be. Look, take the Me Too movement. There's a certain group of women that went along with it, and they're not going to come out and say Me Too because they were complicit. It's like, I'm going to ride this penis because this penis is going to give me this movie role. The gains far outside out exceed the uh, the actions, you know, so to speak. And then there's a group of women who are using Me Too as a weapon. I mean, dude got fired because he put his hand on his chick's back, and she was offended. He got fired for that. So, you know, I speak out on it, and uh, the thing is, this Nasser dude from Michigan. He molested, he raped, he abused 160 women. Didn't get the coverage as the Aziz thing. So that also lets me know that this movement's disingenuous because it's a power shift and it's a money grab. No criminal, I think um, Russell Simmons is being sued, but you know, it's purportedly he raped this chick twice. And she's suing him, but she's not going after the criminal action because it's been so long. This is his word against her word. Who tells a better story is going to win? And it it's just it's just crazy. To me, crypto is just like gambling. Doesn't pay for men to fight for custody. In some cases, like once again, if she has stayed here, because the key thing is she assaulted me, and two days later she left the state. Because if she had touched me again, she would went to jail. She could have went to jail that night. That's my greatest regret that I didn't put her in jail. I should have. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, be real. Me, me Too movement will eventually hurt women because men are going to stop hiring women for fear of losing what they built. Be real. Me Too movement eventually will hurt women because men are going to stop hiring women for fear of what they built. I've been saying that since day one because every dude's not Chester the molester. And the dude's going like, wait a minute, I hired this girl and she just has to be offended. And I get fired and we got to pay her a lot of money just on her accusation. No proof required. Uh, I posted this on my Facebook page. There was um, this girl. She's into these pronoun things. She doesn't like she. She likes they or them. And she let this company know that, you know, gently that she wanted to be addressed this way. Well, they rescinded her contract. In this day and age, because right now things are kind of fat where people can kind of choose and pick and refuse in some sectors. When this next recession comes, you're going to see so much humble pie being eaten. Because I think it's just going to be longer than the last one. Uh, Bill Cosby? I don't think so. He was one of the first, I'll give you that. Hot song beats. No one's talking about the men who sexually harassed in Hollywood. Well, I think the men who are sexually harassed in Hollywood are not talking. You want to tell the world that you're a straight man, but you took the D. That ain't really going to go over well. Because then questions of your sexuality are going to come up. So I can kind of understand why a lot of dudes who took the D or sucked the D. I don't want to talk about it. You got... I don't, I don't even know how this works because you got guys who do gay porno and they say they're not gay. But you let this dude suck your penis and you came, which means you enjoyed it to some degree. And correct me if I'm wrong. And if you enjoyed it and he's a man, you must be gay or bi. That's just how it drops down to me. But um, they ain't going to talk. Look what happened to um, Corey. He talked and people laughed at him. Lauren Hazel, yes, women say it's two women who say were raped, in, but in New York, limitations of the law don't know about the proof of the situation. Uh, Joshua Hill, what if a person has more of digital artistic skills? Is there still for room to make profit independently? Yes! You got to, see, this is the thing, and this is a risk. You got to take a risk. You got to put your stuff out there. I don't think he's going to slide out, Diana. David, I don't think the next recession is going to be last. It's not going to be last. It's going to be long and hard. Because understand, many people make a lot of money during recessions. It's all about being how you're positioned. Pretty much, Big V. Shotgun, we're in the most thin-skinned time in history. Shotgun Elite, it's more than that. Let's go ahead and reverse this. If LeVar Ball was LeVar, LeVar Ball doing the same thing, no one would have a problem with it. It's because he's male and he's black. I mean, seriously. You see mothers act like that with these athletes all the time. No one says a word. Oh, she's just crazy. She's all right. LeVar, well, he, need, he needs to shut up. He needs... No, LeVar sees the product, which is his sons, and he's profiting off of his sons, and he's creating family and generational wealth. He's a father, married to the mother, had three kids, directing them, except he's not quiet like Earl Woods. He's more vocal like a Venus and Serena fathers. You see this. It's a problem when a black man knows his worth, his power, and his situation and acts upon it. It's a problem. Because well, well, the thing is, well, if more of those darkies start to see that and act like that, we can have a huge problem in society like black people creating their businesses and not relying on Mr. Charlie to give him a job. We can't have that. That's what it's about. It is wild. Andre Kelly, and I wasn't really shocked about Russell. He started off in hip hop. You know, if you were really into Russell, early Russell, you knew that, you know, he was a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you got real estate plans, Akuna. That's funny. The original lady. Nah, lady. No, no, that's not true. A BJ. No, that's not true. I mean, there's a lot of chicks I wouldn't let touch my stuff. So, no, 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 no. No, not true. Not true. <laughs> All right, Diana. It was funny. Instagram is good. All right, so what we're going to do, let's see, what can we do? What can we do for the people? Because we are a little bit over an hour, and we're coming out of Merv Griffin. Hold on a second. Let's, we still have sound. We're going to create a coupon. And we're going to do 40% off all products. And we're going to go Friday. Remember Rebecca, whatever her name was, she was like Friday, Friday. So, um, I know you can't see that mice type, so I'm going to, <laughs> yeah, this will work. I mean, we are low tech as AF around here. Very low tech. So that is the code, lowercase Friday, any course on Hustlers Kung Fu, lifeskills.com. 40% off. Just put Friday in the coupon box and you get 40% off. So let's see what kind of course can we get into for creators. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, I got a lot of stuff to do today. It's kind of crazy. And I still have my notes of giving Tax Slayer big ass discount fat cat secrets. That, that's just, I haven't shaped up some stuff there. Uh, let's see. What's. Do, 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 let's see. Creator courses. I don't really think I have any creator courses. So uh, I'm going to say writing for cash is pure in my set bundle. Trust me, next week I will be on my game. I've not been feeling this well this week, so that's kind of been the stoppage. Um, let's see. Am I in bundles? I am in bundles. Don't really have any creator courses. We'll have one this year, but I don't have any now, so... Uh, the best bang for your buck is the tax slayer and writing for cash. So for right now, so you can get those go under the video. The link should be under the video and you can make those deals. So it's Friday. There will not be any uh, streams tonight. Nope. Um, trying to get a little bit healthy well it's not horrible but i'm not doing another stream tonight i will say that you have so much potential and opportunity out here even today uh women of people deal with them like you would a man employing them consists of a contract like a man contractor with companies hire every day yeah I think that for the most part works across, but a lot of things we'll, we'll see because the Me Too movement is starting to run into some problems. Terry Crews, yeah, he came out and, you know, he became a laughing stock. It, it's just not permissible for a man today to come out and say he was sexually abused and be taken seriously which is tragic which is wrong but it is the way it is and if i was an a-list actor and i had transcended past that i probably wouldn't want to talk about it i probably wouldn't 
Thank you, A. Willis. Now, I'm going to disagree a little bit with you, Michael, because a dude could say this chick touched me and it won't be taken that serious. A woman could say someone harassed her and all the powers that come are activated. So it's not, nah, nah. I would say be careful who you hire. Like, I like, I would say, how can I put this? I wouldn't hire a troublemaker because the, typically you can figure out who they are very easily and someone who's a troublemaker, more than likely, would be the one to say sexual assault if they become unhappy. I had someone who was just, she wasn't a troublemaker. She was just strange. Just really, really strange. Strange, 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 strange. Strange, strange chick. Um, she even left some of her stuff here. Patty was like, I'll meet you. <laughs> she just never responded. I mean, just the weirdest thing. I don't think that she would have um I don't think she would have said sexual harassment. She she was just I don't know, just just strange. <laughs> just strange. All right, so uh I'm about to be out. I will catch you people next week. There will not be any streams this weekend and we will start again 8:30 Monday. All right, so you folks have a good day, great weekend. I think it's Super Bowl weekend, too. So for those of you who want some assistance, just go ahead and get uh, Writing for Cash and Superior Mindset Bundle, or you can jump on the Tax Slayer thing, or you can get anything at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. Um, just to let you know that you can just toggle through this, and there's all kinds of courses here. Um, be sure to look and see if their course is done. If there's some courses that are not done, so don't buy those. And yeah, there we go. I'm going to be working on fleshing out stuff very, very soon. Very, very soon. All right, so peace out. Have a good weekend. And I am out. <laughs>